here at E3 LA. Looks beautiful today. Everyone is alive and kicking. We are back for another day. Let's see what today brings. We had good times yesterday. So I got in kind of early today, and look how much more empty it is. This is fantastic. Always take the stairs. Ooh, pretty stairs. Uh. <laughs> this is an area I didn't see yesterday, and this is like seems like right up my alley. See, this is the type of gaming. This is my type of gaming right here. Tons of retro stuff, a lot of arcades, a lot of history about video games for the retro fans that watch this show, which is probably most of you guys. <laughs> Nintendo Color TV game. This is something I've been interested in for a little bit ever since Kevin Kenson started talking about it on his show. In 1977, a certain toy manufacturer in Japan made their first entry into the home game console market. That company was Nintendo and that system was the Color TV Game 6. So this is kind of like the coolest thing I've seen right now in here. It's clean too, it is super clean, oh my gosh. I didn't know much about it before Kevin's video, but now that I'm seeing this in person, it's beautiful. The colors are amazing. More consoles need to look like this nowadays. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yesterday, he was telling you to head over to Hyperkin to look at some of their stuff. No, no, Hyperkin has their own booth, but basically. And I did, and Hyperkin makes some of my favorite stuff as a retro gamer and someone who likes to mix things up as far as accessories. But with that, the people were some of the nicest people in the expo at any booth so far. So Hyperkin, big thumbs up from us because along with cool products and fun stuff, the people were fantastic and made it a good experience. And we got a goodie bag. I got a fanny pack, and the way I dress, the way I dress, I need a fanny pack. It goes with the way I look and my style. So thanks, Hyperkin. We're heading to Nintendo. I haven't been to Nintendo yet. I've been in the other hall all day yesterday, so it feels good to go. But... Sorry, I was getting a drink. God form shoes. All you Jordan collectors, this has got nothing on these. Sorry. It's my doppelganger. Ha ah, ravioli. Being in Nintendo is a whole different feeling than being in anywhere else. It's like an overwhelming sense of like happiness. When you're in like Sony or Xbox or anywhere else, you feel you feel a little cool, a little edgy, but here it's just nothing but smiles and happiness and bright feelings and I don't know, positive vibes and energy. Maybe it's just me. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god! My god, that is beautiful. Jeez, Louisiana. Wow! Mario. So I met Charles Martin Nix, the voice of Super Mario. Could I die happily? Probably. Meeting the voice of Super Mario, Charles Martin Nix, is the definition of a dream come true for a guy like me. So area and so crowded. Mia. <laughs> you know what I remember most about this this expo? Mega Man 11. Come on, what happened? Ricky sucks. What? Ricky. <laughs> I remember that. Uh -huh. Ricky, Ricky sucks. Ha <laughs> ha. Promotion brought to you by Superhero Games Club. 
Okie dokie. Yes, I can. Right yes. Here. Especially if we're going to Expo. You see Expo stuff. You love Expo. I love it. Right. And I the love the ice cream man. Two dollars? I can do that. Here you go. Have fun. Goldie, bro. Why not? Dude, your camera's like, wait, I don't know where your camera is. I was like, dude, all I want are pins. Cuphead? Yeah, I really want one. I want to smash one, but it sounds like I'm not going to get anything Nintendo. It's so packed. What is this for? Oh, it's for the Xbox experience. If you haven't beat Cuphead, you shouldn't be allowed in. That's just, that's just what I think. That's bad. 45 minutes, they said. 15 minutes in front. Bro, I ain't waiting 45 minutes to get into Xbox. I don't care about Xbox that much. 45 minutes. Ricky! Where's Ricky? Press start to play. Think you could just walk away like that without telling us where you're going? Yeah. Here, the first thing I saw was Spyro. They put it front and center. And I was like, they did it for you. They did, honestly. They I saw have you. stories to tell. You have stories. I have stories to tell. I can't talk on camera. I have stories. Hey, uh, secrets, big secrets, everyone, big secrets. And the reveal is. Oh. Always take the stairs. How long have you had that thing? Yeah. So, the Hyperkin booth that I was talking about earlier, I was telling Ricky and Gabriel about it so much, and they liked it so much that Gabriel decided. Hey, I'm over. We tried to get it. Gabriel wanted to buy it, but we couldn't do it. Ricky, why don't you pull your strings? Why don't you tell him, say, bro, I'm an ex YouTuber. Give me the deals, or else you don't get the deal. I know why. I know why. Let me guess. He's sucks. Whatever. So long, eh, Bowser. Why are you showing that? <laughs> Come on! You're like Ricky, you make it hard for me to edit. Oh. No, because I don't suck. Ricky! Oh no! You got a master chief. Ooh, now that's pretty. Ricky, what you get? Go King Dice. Oh, hey, Mr. King Dice. Mega Man. Black oh, hole bomb. That is awesome. Day two, bye bye. Say bye. Bye. Are we gonna do that tomorrow? Yeah. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Xbox. We're gonna hit up Xbox. Xbox. If they have that Cuphead DLC, I'll wait two hours long. I want my Mega Man controller. I know. You know how. Uh, take the stairs. Take the stairs everywhere. More stairs. Again, first thing, tomorrow, 43. Somebody's staring at me like I'm weird. Because I am.